this is my technical video evaluating my recent uh, last recital performance of my five tracks. And I'm going to start off with 10 Seconds Jasmine to Love and this was the first song in my set. And some things that went well is that my belt was strong and confident and in some previous songs it has not been so strong and confident but I worked on the song a lot with my singing teacher working on that belt and I think that I definitely managed to pull off an extremely difficult song since it was belting the entire way through and that was definitely a tricky thing to do and I think that I managed to keep my belt strong and the breath support you know supporting my belt the entirety of the song. There were definitely points where there were some nasal sounds I think if when I had difficulty to belt um it was kind of starting to sound slightly nasal which wasn't anything too noticeable just a slight thing that I could look at in the future and there was some inaccuracies in the pitch I think because I was trying so hard to keep my breath support you know in place so that I was able to belt that sometimes after a long note the second note would be slightly flat or sharp but that was okay nothing too not noticeable again just something to watch out for in the future and um i was happy with the delivery of the song i think i had very strong pronunciation on like syllables and words which uh, like encaptured the anger that was in the song since it's a song about cheating and i think that that was definitely a good point although I probably could have performed it a bit more because of the nature of the song, maybe taking the mic off the stand and moving around more than I did, using my hands, just something to kind of make it more of a performance rather than a recital. But I still do think there was a good atmosphere with it, I think I had the facial expressions there, so it wasn't anything awful, like I was happy overall with the performance, but there was definitely improvements that could have been made. Um. Yeah, I think that's all for the first song. And then the second one, Wish I Didn't Miss You by Angie Stone. I think that I had a really nice tone in the lower sections and I think that that definitely added to the performance and made it sound a lot better. And on some sections I did actually mess around with the melody and the timings to make it my own and I think each time I did do this I think it actually really added to the performance and developed the song. And I think that that was a big thing and why I was really happy with that song. And again, my belt was good and strong in this, in this song. I was really happy with my performance of this overall. I think the performance again, I could have moved around more, but there was definitely an atmosphere there. And so it was an interesting performance, I think, for an audience member. And yeah, it was, I was pretty happy with that performance. But there was, again, some inaccuracies with the pitch, I think, in songs where there are where there is a lot of belting because it's quite laborious. My, my, sometimes getting every note right, that does suffer the consequences of that, which is just something I think can be improved with time and practice and is nothing that I'm too worried about as the performance overall was definitely successful. And Something I do need to watch out for, which I've seen in quite a few of the songs, is I do slightly overuse vibrato. I think on some uh, sections, using less vibrato would actually add to it. I think when it's there all the time, you know, I don't think you appreciate it more. And if I was just to add it in, in places where it was most effective, then I think that that would pay off more than using it all the time, which is definitely something that I do. And um, yeah, just as, just as a little thing for the future. And then my third song was Billie Holiday by Warpaint. Overall, I really loved this performance. I think it was definitely up there with one of my favourite ones. I think it had a really good atmosphere. And overall, my vocals were really good on this one, I think. There was a lot less inaccuracies with the pitch, I think, because it was an easier song for me to sing. So I was it, it kind of just flowed more, I felt, as I was performing it. And I could definitely notice that when I was watching it. And I think because it's an easier song, I was more confident. And when I am more confident, I find it easier to sing. And then the other two, I was not as confident. So I think that's also sometimes where the inaccuracies can come from. Because when you are apprehensive, your voice is also apprehensive and things go wrong. So I think working on like my mental state beforehand definitely could help with some of those problems. 
and um, the guitar playing was better in this than it was in my vocal, no, not my vocal, sorry, my draft performance. There was less buzz with the strings and it matched with my vocals better, so I was really happy about that. Although there were some points that um, I had made a few mistakes, but I managed to cover these up, I feel like. Like, it wasn't anything crazy nothing that could ruin the performance so i mean i'm also proud of myself for being able to quickly move on and not cause like a little scene about these mistakes and i was able to cover them up and just get on with it and so it was nothing too noticeable and overall the performance was really good it was very atmospheric and i think that there was a very emotional delivery especially because of the dynamics there was a lot of quiet sections and loud sections and riffs here and there and i think it was very the vocals were very interesting throughout and there was also a general build with the vocals all the way through that i think i pulled off really well which made the end like a lot more powerful so i was really happy with that one and then the next one Oh, I may have skipped one. I apologize. I'm going to go back. This one was after Wish I Didn't Miss You and before Billie Holiday War Paint, and it was Wildfires by Salt. And I, again, really liked this one. I think that there was definitely some wobbling with some of the longer notes, with my breath support maybe not being as it should. Um, but there were really, in the section with like oohs and ahs, it's like a a middle section between the two verses and choruses. I think that that was really beautiful. I was really happy with how that went. The riffs had very clean cha changes in between the notes and it just overall sounded really lovely. And I was really proud of myself for that small section. And um, yeah, the good riffs, there was clean changes and the quieter sections were very atmospheric. I think that there was some wobbles because of my head voice. It's not as strong as my belt since it's the thing that I've been working on a lot. So I think developing my head voice now would probably be the right move. Since I've been focusing so much on my belt, it has kind of suffered, but nothing dramatic and just something that can improve with more practice and time. And then my last song was My Mind by Yabba. And I was really happy with this song. I love performing this song and I think it was really atmospheric. Again, I think I could have moved around more and performed this one more just like the first song because it is a very powerful song. I think I could have taken advantage of that, which is something I will look to in the future. And there was really good dynamics. There was really good palatals that really added to the song entirely. And there was some very difficult high belt riffs that I think I managed to execute really well and I was very happy with that because they are very tricky and especially in a performance setting when you've already performed four songs so I was very proud of my ability to do that and I think that the song overall was definitely one of the best ones it was really good and it's very an, an emotional song I think I was able to capture that and that's really important to me in, in a performance so I'm really proud of that and um, again, there was some pitch inaccuracies, but I might put that down to it being the last song in the set. So I think practicing longer sets could be something to improve that. And overuse of vibrato in some sections, I think I did notice during this song. So I think maybe if I sing through my songs without vibrato and then add them in, that is a good technique to kind of overcome that. And yeah, again, just making more of a connection with the audience. So I think as a whole, it was a really successful performance. I think my set was good. It had a lot of variety and um, the theme was good. And I think that I did do myself proud. Um, I think there was definitely inaccuracies throughout, but nothing major. And I mean, I am still learning. So just overall, I think I hit the mark. And I definitely am really happy with my belt. It's, it's developed dramatically. And I think I was able to really showcase that in this performance and being able to, you know, do riffs and add in my own little sections. So I think I did manage to make it my own and I am quite proud of that. But I think definitely something overall I could work on is my stage presence. I think that the one thing that might have been 
slightly boring as an audience watcher is having me stay in the same place pretty much the entire time. I think I could eat, walk around a little bit and use my hands and just, I do think that comes down to my own stage fright and confidence. So if I can work on that, I think that that in turn will improve. And then looking as, at how I've developed over the course from my first performance ever, it is a huge change. Um, my first performance was Latch by Sam Smith and I could just tell immediately when I watched it that I was not confident at all. And my tone has definitely, it was a lot shakier, a lot wobblier and a major thing is that I could not belt high notes at all. Every time there was a high note I would just go into head voice and that is something that has completely changed because now all I do is belt high notes and I'm really happy with my development in that area. And my longer notes were very wobbly in this first performance and now working on my breath support with my singing teacher, I am able to hold longer notes from like with a lot more strength and confidence and can overcome the wobbling. It does still happen, but definitely not nearly as much. And um, I could tell that when I was watching it, there was a lot of voice cracks and a lot more inaccuracies and I wasn't doing the correct warm ups during that time and I didn't have that correct breath support in place. So I think just getting more information about singing as a whole, what muscles interact and what you need to do beforehand, that whole learning experience has been probably the number one factor in my improvement, just being able to understand what's actually going on so, you know, you can control it and, you know, actually consciously make those decisions rather than just see where your voice takes you because that's definitely the way I used to approach it. And my dynamics have definitely developed. I think I used to pretty much not add anything in, just do what I was comfortable with and keep everything at a similar um, what is the word? A similar... <laughs> like, a similar sound, like, volume, volume is the word, <laughs> I apologise. A similar volume and, like, vibrato was in every single note and it can be quite boring as an audience watcher to listen to somebody sing very similarly an entire song and I think that's something I've definitely developed and I'm able to mix things up, add new things in as I've learned and it just makes for a much more interesting and better performance. And um, my stage presence has definitely developed a lot. I think I'm, because my confidence has grown in my singing and so is my stage presence and so I think that's definitely easy to identify if you were to compare the two. I'm very reserved, my hands kind of stay still and it definitely plays a huge role in a successful performance and I'm just very proud of myself for their development in that area as well. And yes, that is all. Thank you.